cute. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Today's project is a little wine bottle cozy that I came up with. Since people are starting to get out and about again, it's almost wedding season. You might get to go visit a friend or some family members that you haven't seen in a while, bring a bottle of wine, and you can put this little cozy over the top of it. It's like a little gift bag and it's really fast. It's almost a stash buster is what I would have to say. So what I made this one out of, what is this one? Euro Baby, Babe Jazz. And this one is called Fun House, which is a super fun, just a whole bunch of fun colors. I'm gonna make the one today out of Sugar Wheel Cotton Solids. This is 100% cotton yarn bee from Hobby Lobby and it's a really bright white, so be very elegant. So we can see what the differences between one that's kind of whimsical and one that looks very fancy. 100% cotton, it's a three weight, it's a lightweight, and it's just a four and a half for crocheting, but I'm going to use a four today so I get some nice tight stitches because the cotton ends up being a little bit stretchy, as you can see here, which is helpful to make sure that everything fits properly, even if you don't know which bottle you're going to buy. You're probably going to be able to get, probably going to be able to make it fit. So I'm going to use my Furl's Ebony hook, which is one of my favorite hooks. I'm going to start out with a magic circle. So turn, spin, 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 pull, twist, pull. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a very fast tutorial on my channel. You can go and check that out. It only takes a couple of minutes and I promise it'll be easy peasy. Alright, so here we are. We have our magic circle. I'm going to do eight single crochets in our magic circle. I'm going to mark the first one. As you know how I love my stitch markers, I am a stitch marker person. So there's one. We want eight total. So here's two and eight. There's eight in our magic circle. We can pull our magic ring, magic ring, magic circle, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to pull them tight. On this, we're working from the bottom up. So right now we're working on this part. We're working on the bottom and we're working all the way up to the top. So there's our eight. Round one, click. Round two, we want to increase. So we're going to do two single crochets in every stitch. We'll be increasing up from eight to 16. So two stitches in everything. And I'm going to move my stitch marker. And I don't have to count. So there's the first one. We want to do two in every one. And I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. There's my last two. 15 and 16. There's round two. Click. Round two. When we're working in the round here. We're not going to slip stitch or anything. We're just going to keep right on going. Round three is another increase. We're going to increase from 16 to 24. So that's a single crochet in the first stitch and the next stitch gets two single crochets. And that's your sequence all the way around. One and two in the next stitch all the way around. Meet you at the stitch marker. And there's my last grouping. There's a single and two singles in the last stitch. And there is the end of round three. Click. So round three, we've just increased up to 24. Round four, it's so now going to be another increase to 32. So in our first stitch, we want two single crochets in the first stitch. Now I'm going to move the stitch marker back to the first stitch. Again, that was two in the first stitch and one in each of the next two, and that's the sequence all around. And here's my last sequence. There's an increase, just two single crochets in the same stitch, and our last two stitches are just both one single crochet each. So there is the end of round four. We've just increased from 24 up to 32. One more increase. All right, so round five, the first stitch is a single crochet. And so is the second and the third. Now we do our increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. And that's our sequence. 
three single crochets and then two in the same stitch all the way around. And there's my last sequence and there's my last increase. Very last stitch. There we go. That was round five and we've increased from 32 up to 40 and that's how much I did down here because we're going to stretch a little bit. Especially if you're using cotton, it will stretch a little bit and it will be all good. It's okay if it's a little snug and it's okay if it's a little loose because this will hold everything in place. We'll be there in a little bit. Now we'll start working up in the round. So for round six, we're going to do a single crochet in the back loop only all the way around. So again, right here, back loop only. So going through that back loop, pull through and pull through. All the way around, 40 stitches. Easy peasy. This is amazingly simple for a beginner. There's not a lot of tricky stitches. So there we go. Back loop only all the way around. Back to the stitch marker. 39 and my last back loop only and that was round six. Click. And you can see there's a little bit of a ridge here. It's going to help take this corner a little bit better. Just a little bit. All right, so now we're going to start working up. I'm going to do the next round, actually the next five rounds. But this next round is going to be through both loops like normal, no back loop this time. But we're going to do Suzette Sitch, which everybody knows that a Suzette is my favorite. So there's a single. first stitch there. It's a single and a double in the same stitch is a Suzette stitch. I just love that stitch. It's so easy but it's just gives nice just a nice texture. It's a cute little design and it's not overly complicated. So a single and a double in the same stitch and then we skip the next stitch. Single, double, and a skip. And that's your sequence all the way around. Double and a skip all the way around. Right, here's going to be my last Suzette stitch. So just did this one a single and a double in the same stitch, and then you skip this one, and then we'll do a single and a double, and you should have one stitch left because the sequence is a single and a double and a skip. So there, it's perfect. That was round seven click and now 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So all the way through round 11, the next five or the next four rounds, five including this one we just did, are all Suzettes. So just continue. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker when we are done with our fifth round of Suzette, which is also the end of round 11. And here is my last Suzette stitch in round 11. So there's a single and a double. And then we skip this one and we're back at the beginning. So see we have a little pouch going on. We have this part done right here. Alright, so in the next two rounds are going to be a double crochet mesh. So we're right here. I'm going to yarn over and skip this stitch and go right into my first stitch that's marked with a double crochet. And then we'll mark him again. So remember to skip that last stitch that's going to be unworked. And now we're in the one that was marked. And then we do a chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet chain one. Skip, double crochet, chain one. All the way around. And I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. This is round 12. And here's my last double crochet and a chain one. And again we want to skip this very last stitch because that's part of our sequence. I'm going to go back into the same one again for the next round which is round 13 
yarn over and double crochet into our mark stitch. We're going to do one more round of that little double crochet. Chain one mesh. Easy peasy. So we have to chain one and I will be do a double crochet into the top of the previous double crochet. Not in the chain space. We're going to work in the top of our double crochet. All the way around. I'll meet you back at the marker. And now I've got my last double crochet in round 13 and a chain one. And now we're back. So we did 12 and that was red. That was round number 13. Boom. For the next six rounds, which is 14 through 19, that will be Suzette's again. So starting with, just skip this chain, or skip this mark right here because that's part of our sequence. We're going to single crochet into our mark stitch. And double crochet into our marked stitch. Skip the chain space and work into the top of the double crochet with your Suzette. Skip, single and a double. All the way around. Skip the chain space and remember it's the next six rounds. This is round 14. Just keep Suzette in all the way until you are done with six rounds of Suzette, which would be the end of round 19. And I'll see you in just a second. Here is my last Suzette stitch in round 19. There's a single and a double and a skip and we're going to work back into this stitch. So there's round 19. Click. Hooray. So remember that was six rounds of Suzette. Now we're going to do two rounds of the mesh again. So from where we are right now, I'm going to yarn over, double crochet into our marked stitch. Move the marker. And then chain one. Skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip, all the way around again. And then here is my last double crochet and chain one in round 20. We want to do that again for round 21. So we are not over, we're going to work into our marked stitch with a double crochet and one more time all the way around. Chain one. I'm going to skip the chain space and work right into the top of the double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain space, work into the top of our double crochet. And that's our sequence all the way around to the stitch marker. Easy peasy meet you in just a second. And here is my last double crochet and a chain and then we're done with two rounds of our little mesh stitch and that's the end of round 21. So now rounds 22 through 26 is going to be Suzette again. So again remember it's a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch and a skip. So our skip is the chain space. We're going to work in the top of our double crochet from the previous round with a Suzette and a skip. All the way around for five rows total or five rounds total. So this is going to be round that is round 22. We want to do 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. I'll meet you back here at the end of round 26. And here is my last Suzette 
stitch four round 26. Here we go. Remember, we have to skip this one. So that was round 26. Click. We have round 27 and 28 are all single crochets. Easy peasy. So all I have to do is skip this guy and start in our marked stitch. Single crochet all the way around. Every stitch gets one single crochet. La 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 la. Super easy peasy. Probably can do this with your eyes closed. So again, that is round 27 that we're on right now. Round 27 and 28 are both single crochet all. So I will meet you back after you've done two rounds of single crochet and we are at the end of round 28. Here's the last few stitches of round 28 that were just single crochets only. Super easy peasy, 28, done. Now all we have to do is make this little part. Super, super easy peasy, so excited. We're gonna slip stitch into our marked stitch. And chain 20, 1, 2, 3, 18, 19, 20. Slip stitch into this stitch one more time. So we're making a loop. Working yarn is behind me, and we are just going to single crochet into every chain. And there's my last chain of my chain 20. And then we're going to slip stitch again back into our original spot. Slip stitch. And now we're going to fasten off. Got my scissors, snippy snip, pull it through. And now I'll show you how cute it looks on the bottle. Biggest deal is to make sure that you have got enough slack right here to get over the top. And it holds it on. There you go, all done. Isn't that just adorable? Just make sure that your circle that you start with on the bottom is the right size. If it's a champagne bottle, you may, might want to go and make it a little bit bigger, use a different hook. You can really make this about any way you want, any color scheme you want, for any occasion that you want. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.